Hello, it's Wallace. I feel like I need to say right at the top that this is not really a writing video. This video is more for any planner freaks out there. Quick disclaimer, I am not sponsored by any of the companies that I happen to mention over the course of this video. I'm just a planner enthusiast. Also, fair warning, I'm going to be spending the next however many minutes talking very seriously about planners in a time when almost nobody has anything going on in their day-to-day -day lives, and I am fully aware of how ridiculous it sounds. All right, you've been warned. Now, normally I get a new planner about halfway through the year. Ever since college and my master's program, I've been on an academic year versus a normal calendar year. And I know that's fairly common within the planner community, but if you're like me and you want to leave everything about 2020 behind as soon as the clock strikes midnight on New Year's Eve, and if you're currently shopping around, then let me introduce to you the planner that I purchased for myself for 2021. One. The golden coil. Ooh. <laughs> if you don't know about golden coil, it's a fairly new planner company, but its claim to fame or its niche is that it's highly customizable, as in quite literally the most customizable I have ever seen. I heard about them for the first time last May when I was buying a planner for my sister for her birthday, which by the way, that's a fairly normal gift between the two of us. I wasn't like subtly trying to tell her she needed to get her life together or anything like that. And Golden Coil just seemed totally perfect for her from its customization to its sleeker, a little more professional look, and to the fact that these planners are made in America, which is something that's actually really important to my sister. I've been watching her use hers for over six months and I got a little jealous. And so I decided to build one for myself. And I do mean build. Like I said, golden coils are highly customizable. You build your planner from the ground up on the website. You start with picking your cover and filling out basic information that goes on the first page. They even have a little slot where you can write a personal message on this page, which I thought was a nice touch. You can then upload all your contacts and they will be printed for you in the planner. Then you pick your start and end dates. You want the normal January to December planner? Great. Or maybe you want an academic year planner that starts in July or August and ends in June of the next year. Or maybe you want a planner that starts on your birthday or on some totally random date like October 3rd. Golden Coil lets you do that. Side note, I am just now realizing as I'm talking it over in front of my camera um, that this could actually be a really powerful tool for story organization and outlining. Like, you can literally have the planner start on the day that your story starts and ends on the day that your story ends. Mm. Anyway, there is also an option to choose to add holidays and events to your calendar. They have like the US holidays, international holidays, and some random list of holidays, but you can also upload your own custom holiday list. So all of your family birthdays or just birthdays you need to remember or anniversaries, things like that. All of these events and holidays will be printed on the monthly spreads. Then you choose your layout. You have to choose between weekly or daily, but there are literally over 20 different layouts between these choices. It's amazing. Then you have dozens of other pages that you can choose to include. If you want a fitness spread, great. You get to choose if you want it weekly, monthly, at the start of your planner, at the end of it. The categories for pages are between calendaring, food and meal prep, fitness and wellness, goal planning. There's a lifestyle section where you can include pages for budgeting or keeping track of all the gifts you need to give during the year. And finally, there's the standard section where you can add in notebook pages ranging from lined to graph paper to doc grid. They even have staff pages if you're a musician or a songwriter. It's these extra pages that I was, why I was getting excited earlier about the possibility for using this for writing because Okay, let's say your story takes place over the course of a single month. You can build a golden coil where its start date is the first of that month and its end date is the 31st. And you can choose a daily spread so that way you can outline everything that needs to happen on every single day. And the rest of the planner, you can just add in any of these spreads that you think will help you with plotting out and organizing your story. So, I mean, I'm pretty sure that there is literally a storyboard layout. I'm sorry, 
I have no words right now, but I'm just kind of getting excited thinking over this. I'm pretty sure there's a storyboard layout. Also, I know that there's a party planning one. So let's say in your story, you know that you're gonna throw a party or there's going to be a ball of some sort. You can have the party planner layout and list your decoration theme or list what music you would be playing and the guest list and I don't know. I just, I think that would be cool. And then any pages that aren't taken up from the daily layouts and the extras, you can just add in lined notebook pages or something like that. So that way it's just this giant notebook for your story and you just, you, <laughs> oh no. Anyway, you get to review your planner and make sure everything looks top notch before pressing order. Printing and shipping times can vary. Again, I'm pretty sure this is a fairly small business. I got my planner in about eight days, I wanna say. And speaking of my planner, I now want to kind of go into all of its layouts and little details to offer you some inspiration, but also to show you kind of what the finished product looks like. So when choosing a color scheme for my planner, I went with the midnight blue cover because I think that dark blue and the gold coil look really beautiful together. And it very much goes with a theme I have for myself this year. In Project Existential Crisis, these colors appear a lot. I would almost call them a motif. And since I will be spending a lot of time with this project in 2021, hopefully, I chose a dark blue and gold planner theme. And I also wrote a little message for myself on the first page that says, here's to a year of indigo and gold. My planner goes from the start of January to the end of June because I wanted a lot of extra pages. So I figured I would just split the year in half. This also means that if I end up not liking this planner or some of the formats that I picked, I'm not married to it for an entire year. At the start of every month, I have a typical monthly spread and then a social media tracker so I can plan out and stay on top of my YouTube uploads. I have a goals page so I can also stay on top of any resolutions I make for the year. I particularly like the layout I chose for this spread because it allows you to take your yearly goals and break them down into achievable steps in the monthly, weekly, and daily scale. So for example, if you had a goal this year to write an entire new story, you can put that in this top section. And for your monthly goal, you could have to finish act one. In the weekly, you could have to finish a chapter a week, and a daily goal could be to write for one hour every day. Next, I have my academic spread. This spring, hopefully, is my last semester of my master's program, so I wanted to have a page or two dedicated to tracking my schoolwork for the first six months of 2021. This part of the spread is where I will write bigger assignments for the month, homeworks, projects, things like that. I have three classes and each seem to have about one big thing due each week, so this looks like the perfect space for that. In the to-do section, I'll write down the smaller things that need to get done, like the reading assignments or any discussion posts on forums, etc. And I'll use this weekly section as a way to block out my ideal workflow for the month. For example, if my macroeconomics homeworks are due on Sunday nights and my professor's online office hours are on a Friday, which I'll put there, then I'll write here that I want to spend Wednesdays watching my macro lectures and Thursdays doing a first pass at the homework. That way I'll be prepared for any questions I might want to ask during office hours and that Sunday deadline for the homework won't sneak up on me. Those are the things I have at the beginning of every single month. And the pages that make up the bulk of my planner are my weekly spreads. And I ended up choosing two different things to track every single week. So first I have this spread where I can write down any appointments on this page and keep a weekly to-do list on this page. And then I have a health and wellness spread every week as well. And that pattern basically repeats until the end of June. Oh, and I also have literary quotes at the bottom of every weekly spread. You can choose to include these or inspirational quotes, or I think like a daily self-care activity. I think it is another fun little customization to choose from. After all of my weekly spreads at the very end of the planner, I have some pages that I didn't need every month or every week, but I still wanted to include to keep track. I have a mood tracker, a reading tracker, and a gift tracker. My family has a lot of spring birthdays, so this one is critical. And finally, I have about 50 pages of dot grid. I haven't decided if I want this to be a sort of journal section or just a place to add in any more spreads that I want to have, 
but I love dock rib pages, so I knew I needed to include some. And that's the gorgeous golden coil that I designed for myself. I am really excited about this new year and I'm so excited to dig in and utilize this planner and familiarize myself with the new system. At the end of June, I'm planning on coming back to this video and writing a comment about my actual thoughts after having used it for so long and I'll pin that comment below. So if you're watching this video for some reason after July of 2021, you can head down to the comments and see my real long-term thoughts on this planner. Before I wrap things up though, it has to be said there is one significant con to the Golden Coil planner system and that is the price. I think the cheapest that they can be is about $60 to $65. I go ham with my planners. I filled mine to the max amount of pages you can have, which meant mine was about $80. That's a lot to spend on a planner, especially given the fact that my planner will only last half the year. But on the flip side, I literally had five planners this year. Not to get too into it, but anytime I felt like my life was getting a little bit out of control, buying a new planner was my coping mechanism for that. So at this moment in time, I have a planner for my daily to-do list, I have a health and wellness planner, I have an academic planner, I have my desktop monthly overview planner, and I have my author journal which also serves as a YouTube social media planner. Obviously with everything so spread out for me it doesn't work and things just slip through the cracks, hence my very erratic upload schedule. Um, so. I'm not saying that I'm saving money by buying this planner, but I kind of look at it as I'm paying a premium in order to streamline and have all of my planning in one location. And of course it has to be said, it seems upon first use of it, that everything is really high quality. The paper is heaven. I know, again, I think that's so funny to be like, oh, the paper is so nice, but it really is. The pa it's like thick paper, it's nice paper. And of course it's made in America, which is another reason why the price is steeper. So if perchance you are interested in getting one of these planners and designing one for yourself, or if you just wanna to go to the website and get inspiration for spreads to put in your own bullet journal or planner, I've linked the website below. It is not an affiliate link. And before you leave, comment down below. Let me know what is your favorite planning system? What are your favorite brands? What are some must have spreads? Are you the kind of person who likes to have a separate planner for each facet of your life or do you like things a little more streamlined? But that's about it. I hope this was at least semi-informative. Um, not gonna lie, I kind of just want to go and design a planner for this book is for October and like every other work in progress I have right now. I'm not gonna buy it. I just, <laughs> I just want to know what it would look like because you could have different colors for each of your stories. Oh no. Oh no. I'm going to go play on the website, I guess, for a little bit. I have taken up enough of your time. We're going to sign off now. Do, 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 do. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Uh, go be happy, go be healthy, and go right.